This video is a demonstration of how to perform graphics operations in C# -sharp using new Get Package Data Juggler. Pixel database. I created a demo project called Calendar Creator, which creates a calendar for any month. After these sample images are shown, I will show how easy Calendar Creator is to use. We will walk through creating a calendar image. I will show you my workflow using Invoke AI to create the calendar body. Then we will create a header image and an image for what I call the day row. The day row is directly below the header, and it contains the day abbreviation for each day of the week. I will also show you a way to touch up images using pixeldatabase.net. And finally, we will do a code review of the pixel database create calendar method. Hopefully, by the end of this video you will agree new get package data juggler dot pixel database make C sharp graphics very simple. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing you have to do is create your body image for your calendar. So for this, I'm just going to resize this and it needs to be 1120 by 740. And obviously, the better your images look, the uh, better your calendar is going to look. And now I'm going to just adjust the brightness and contrast down a little bit. This makes the numbers show up a little better. I might increase the contrast a little bit. Okay, so there. And I'll go ahead and save this. And then my next image is, this is the header image. It must be 1120 by 80, and it already is, so we're good there. I'm going to just adjust this brightness down a little also. It doesn't really have to, but that's probably a little much. Okay, and I'll save this. And I created all these with Invoke AI and a site called Crea.ai. Just kind of an AI enhancer. And then finally, you have your, what's called the day row image. And your day row image is... It's this image here where the row where it has the abbreviations for the name. So you can use any image you want there, but it must be 1120 by 60. And I'll go ahead and close that. So we're going to, and our day row image should already be the right size. So I'm going to go ahead and run uh, Calendar Creator. It's real simple to use. First thing you do is set your output folder. Next thing you do is select your background image, and I'm going to use the ones in my demo folder. And then your header image is going to be this one, and my day row, this one. And then now the base color, and I have a little cheat sheet for this. If I go to the README for, I'm using April is what I'm doing, so I think it's white smoke. And I think I changed, I'm going to go ahead and make this, this is actually deep slate blue. I'll go ahead and fix that. Okay, so now we're going to select white smoke there. And for the font, I like this font called Palatino Linotype, if I'm saying that correctly. And the header is going to be deep slate blue dark slate blue sorry let me fix my comment dark slate blue otherwise i'll forget okay and the header font i like this one called impact and i might make it 40 pixels and we'll go ahead and change this to april of 2024 and we'll create our calendar so this is a real short video And I will put the link to the Calendar Creator GitHub if anybody wants it. And we'll go down and look at our image. Okay, so this was the image, the calendar we just created. If you wanted to do any post uh, graphics editing, you can do that. Like I'm gonna show you how to make the flowers more yellow since we got a little bit of time here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my website, which is pixeldatabase.net. I'll just do it here. 
and I'm going to select the April that I just created. Okay, to make the yellow a little brighter, what we're going to do is say update. I'm going to turn on the color picker to show you this. It probably illustrates it a little better. Okay, so if you look at the green red value, it's 372. So what we're going to say is set adjust green red 45, make that pretty bright, where green red greater than 300 but we don't want to do the white pixels because they also have a very high green red value but the total is higher so if you look at the total value which is this right here the yellow ones are less than so we'll just say total less than 500 and i'll hit apply and our yellow that the uh some of the other lake got affected here and some of this so we're going to undo that what we're going to do is say y add one more criteria y greater than 382 and hit apply now ah, we're still doing some of this let me get to about right here okay y greater than 436 I could also do it by green though. If you look at the green value, the green is much higher. So what I'm going to do is say green less than 100. And then we don't even really need this. But Okay, so that made our yellow a little uh, brighter. And now I'm going to make the green grass a little greener. And that'll be the end of this video. So we're going to say update, set of just green and what we're going to do here we're going to leave that value of we'll go with 50 where green max diff is greater than zero and what that means is where green is the primary color basically and we don't want to do the sky so we're going to say y greater than 232 Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's a little too much. I'm going to make that down to like 20. Okay, this is going to be a quick code review for the calendar, create calendar method. This is in the create calendar demo project. So basically all I do here, I have a little validation method. And then here, this is how you load a pixel database. And I have a blank image that I use. And this is for, if you've already created this once, I blank out the image while it's creating the next image. And then here, this is where I set the background to that pixel database. Then I come through here and determine if we're going to be saving the file to disk or just creating it in memory. I usually leave this checked. And then here we load our pixel database based on the path you selected for your output folder. And then here I just have a couple of extra validation methods. I think I already covered this in that method, but I left it here. And then here's the pixel database for the Dayro image. That's the one that I showed you of the abbreviated names. And then here I load the color you selected for the base color is the abbreviated names and the numbers. And the header color is the title, which is the month and year. And then finally, select the font and the base font and header font. And we call the create calendar method. And then I'll jump over to pixel database. And in pixel database, I'll show you the uh, create calendar method. Let's see, somewhere here. Okay, and I've already shown you all the parameters there. So basically, this is just a the status callback. That's a delegate. So that's how the progress bar knows that this is uh, running and that uh, reports back status. And then here we load the pixel database again. I already had them loaded in the client. I could have just passed in a pixel database, but it is what it is. I wrote this in a couple of hours Saturday uh, morning. Okay, and now we've got the pixel database to copy the sub image onto the main image. This is one of the main features I like about pixel database. It makes uh, combining images really simple. And this is the point where you want that to apply. 
And then here I do the same thing for the, uh, well, here's some drawing text, put in the title, I believe is what that is. Yeah. And then we have, uh, this was one important part. The graphics object had to be created from the bitmap, not from the uh, picture box that didn't work. And let's see, and here we copy the day row image, same thing, copy sub image. So that's very useful. And then here I draw the grid lines. So this is like a top row. And then here I draw the vertical rows and then I draw the horizontal rows. And then we come down and draw the text for the abbreviated name. And that's just right here. First three letters of the day of the week. And then finally we come down here and this is where we draw the days in the month. And this get calendar point is the key to it right here, which is it just determines uh, based on what day of the week is the first of the, is that day and the week number. So that's the vertical and the Y axis. And that is basically all there is to it. And I'll finish showing you the, uh, all it does down here is save the file. And that's the end of, that's how easy Pixel Database is to use. So that was the code review part that I promised. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.